if you get fucking murdered, if you get hit by a bus, you won't be big enough for me to even report. By December, Can't wait by to December, I am going to have to report that Jake Paul changed his fucking hair color just to survive. My name is Sean, and I hate to say it, but Keemstar is right. most recent baited podcast. Keemstar is correct in his outrage in the direction that YouTube has gone in these past couple of years, you know, since, you know, the collapse of Vine. Others will focus on the fact that Clown has returned to baited, but I don't give a fuck. I personally think that Clown is wrong-ish out of principle, but that is a trivial matter um, <clears throat> next to what Keem has brought up. I'll let you hear from Keem himself. Roll it. All these people that were popping back then, done now. A completely new breed of YouTuber has invaded the platform known as Viners, and everything has been turned upside down. Now, I knew a little bit about Jake Paul, all right, because him and Elisa Violet got into this breakup many months ago, and we covered it on Drumler, or maybe we didn't, I don't know, but I remember hearing about it. And I was like, eh, yeah, yeah, this is some fucking, you know, Disney guy, whatever. These are all, like, Hollywood implants to, uh, here on YouTube. Not really my thing. I didn't cover it that much. I wasn't paying attention that much. But then all of a sudden, this Jake Paul dude starts fucking blowing up. And he comes out with this song, It's Every Day, Bro. And you guys all know, I know everyone he hearing this right now knows about this. I actually the haven't worst heard rap song. song. Oh, my Good. God. God bless it's you. A great, it's a great song. I want to stay pure. So I didn't this is the song. Uh, well, everyone else has been fucked by it, right? Because there are some stupid fucking lines like uh, Disney flow, like um, God Church, and like um, England, England is, is my, my city. city. Let, let's not break down the lyrics. We know the song's fucking good. There are facts to support what Keem is saying. YouTube, at the whim of the SJW, I mean the, the Wall Street Journals, Adverts and viewers and viners and other simple content is suggested over and over and over and over again Seeing as now so many people rely on this platform and others like it as an income source One could possibly make an argument for YouTube's algorithm being unethical Keem breaks down YouTube suggested and how this cancer content gets the benefit of a snowball effect just because Roll it they are getting thrown and recommended over and over and over again. Let me explain this to you, right? If you come onto the YouTube platform big and have a big push, right? The algorithm just starts pushing you. And because you're being thrown and recommended left and right, then it's like a snowball effect, right? And you just keep getting pushed and promoted by YouTube and promoted by YouTube. And so what happened is, is Vine died. It's done. It's over with. These people... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. These people with millions of followers on Vine and on Instagram and, and these other platforms, they come to YouTube and they start pushing it. I would have no clue how to rectify this, an issue like this. Um, but some small boost and recommendation for different channels uh, for different reasons. You could spend a whole other video on reasons why recommended section um, should be skewed back on course. Jake Paul is the new version of old media. Wolf in sheep's clothing. The ones who made YouTube are now the black sheep of the family. You know, the, the, the guys who came up with YouTube. So in conclusion, I think that Keem is right. And YouTube takes one step closer to television. Anyway, guys. I know it's probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Apparently, according to him, I didn't see anything because we all just turned our head and we're like, ah, what are you doing? And this this is, is a weird in a hotel room. conversation. This was, this was happening in a hotel room. Did you touch it at all or no? In Anaheim. I'm just saying, like, I didn't see a wart, but that's why I started calling him wart dick. You did, know? You, did you taste a wart?